Hi, I'm Warren Whitlock for Twitter Handbook here with Robert Scoble. Hi, Robert. Yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, I, I understand you use Twitter a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Friend feed and all these fun tools, you know, oh, yeah. on my iPhones. Uh, great, <laughs> great, great. And uh, and uh, I, I, I thank you for writing the uh, forward to the Twitter Handbook, but uh, uh, I got a, I got a I, question. Writing it 140 characters at a time now is a little tough. Yeah, I know. It's going, to take a, it's going to take us a little while to get that in there. So, great. Um, what, if there what was I, justice in the world, you'd have to, the whole book would have to be 140 characters. Right. What, what I want to know, we keep hearing a bunch of things like, you know, Twitter's going away or isn't working, there's a fail well, and should we all switch over to friend feed or something else, uh, identity.ca. What do you have to say about that? Is Twitter here to stay? Absolutely. Switch, switch away. Switch away. <laughs> <laughs> the more I try to get people to switch, the less they do. So. <laughs> Twitter, it's interesting. Uh, Twitter, you're locked in place because your friends are there. So unless you get all your friends to move somewhere else, you're never going to get... Um, you're never going to get uh, uh, something else to be uh, as successful a brand as, as Twitter is. And we see that, right? Twitter's down uh, over the last two months. It's been down a lot, you know, well, almost every day in the last two months. It's getting a little bit better la lately, but still features don't work on there. You know, I go to the direct, re uh, direct reply page and it crashes on me. And uh, uh, the IM doesn't work that used to work before and, and all sorts of stuff like that. But yeah. we still are there. Don't don't you think it's something that that the Twitter phenomena, the revolution, is something bigger than? Uh, I don't know. I'd call it a revolution. But, <laughs> the I mean, social I, marketing revolution. Yeah, really. But Twitter Twitter joined IM and blogging and uh, forums in, into one place, right? Um, and gave every message a, a URL so I could link to any specific message. It's pretty unique from that. I don't know that that's a revolution. It's an evolution, I think, of where a lot of uh, communication is going to go. Um, where, was, where were we going? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, the, so, so, I mean, regardless of what happens with Twitter, the company, are we going to be tweeting in the future? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I think that form of a short message that you send around the world to either your friends or an audience or to a web service, right? Because I, I can uh, not just communicate human to human with Twitter, right? I can communicate machine to machine, and that's a pretty uh, unique way of looking at the world. But if you're watching Twitter Vision, for instance, that's not owned by Twitter. It, and you, yet they're using an API to grab messages out of the Twitter bucket and display them on uh, Google Map, right? And that's, uh, we're not gonna stop doing that kind of thing anytime soon. Uh, you know, video's not gonna replace uh, sending a short text message it's just not as efficient and um, you know uh, is there going to be another service to, that comes along that does tweeting better than twitter maybe more reliably but not not better you know that, that and that's the hard marketing ch challenge is that, you know can you add a little photo in there yeah okay but is that really better that, you know does that add a lot to the communication i, I don't think so so i don't see a big you know revolution that's going to put tweeting out of business you know I maybe a better service will come along that, that's better integrated into the, the tools we use but and we're still going to be doing it no matter what so yeah. so and what do we say to those people that come along because I know we're just the minority of the population somebody says hey what about this is it unstable is it working is there something else should I start doing it Life is unstable. <laughs> Great. You what know, what we, advice? We do you don't have get some, out of this alive. So. Other, other, than, other than reading my book, what advice do you have some, for somebody that says, "Should I bother doing any of this?" I I, I think uh, you know if you have something to communicate with other people, you should think about it because it's a it's a unique way to communicate with other people around the world, and it's certainly an interesting way to have a conversation that you can't have by watching CNN or sending an email to somebody. It, it, an email doesn't have a URL, so I can't link into an email. Um, uh, you know, an e email doesn't have an RSS feed, so I can't get it mixed into friend feed and into my Google Reader, right, the way I can with Twitter. Um, you know, and an email can't be, uh, isn't an API that a service like Twitter Vision can use or Twirl can use to display these messages in a different way, in a different place. 
Great. And, and I've got one more question now. Uh, I know you have, uh, you know, more followers than God. Um, you know, you're more following and you're doing all this and spend a lot of time. I think the Catholic Church has more followers than I do. <laughs> how do you, how do you, um, how do you, the Pope, uh, the Pope will still well, be... I was just trying to get you on one of the old, the old Lenin thing. I'm more popular than Christ, but yeah, uh, okay. No, so I think if the Pope was I'm not going to get you to make a, a goof like that. So, uh, but no, you have, you have a whole bunch of followers. You spend, I know it must take a whole lot of time. And uh, I and and we've been we've been telling people you got to be reading these things you got to be paying attention you got to get in the conversation. Yeah. What well, I mean, I'm how do you keep the it, balance? I, I'm using it for a very specific purpose. Everybody I followed is a de facto early adopter. So, and I say you define yourself by who you follow, not who follows you, right? So, uh, because that's the inputs in your life are are what are going to make you smarter or stupider or funnier or not as funny or more informed or not as informed. You know, so if you choose your inputs wisely, you're going to, that's going to define you. Whether you're you know, following all sports people, you're going to probably be more up to date on sports, right? If you follow all, uh, you know, like if you follow people like uh, New Media Jim, who's uh, a cameraman in the White House for NBC, you're probably going to be more up to date on what the president's going to do, right? So if you choose your the people you're following carefully, you're going to change yourself, I guess. Um, so I'm trying to follow early adopters because I'm studying how early adopters think and what they talk about, what they like, what iPhones and apps they like, and stuff like that. And that's how, how I find a lot of stuff for my, the latest technology in my life. Or my, you know, that's how I know about what's cool on the PlayStation 3 or on the iPhone or on my laptop. You know? People tell me, oh, you should go watch uh, Wine Library TV. You know? And you go over there and watch it, and you go, oh, that's really cool. You know? And it's because the early adopters are looking for cool stuff right. to talk about. Yeah, so like you and I both follow thousands of people, but that's, it's not some kind of a contest. It's a matter of we follow what's going to work for us, and I'm, yeah. it's okay if somebody follows 10 people. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. If, you're, if your only goal is to follow your family, then that defines you too. You're a family person, right? And yeah. you're trying to see what your daughter's doing at school you know, or something like that. That's fine too. Um, yeah. It's just I'm using it to study a, a, a sizable group of early adopters and, uh, and uh, most of them are hand-picked and that's what happens. If you turn out to be a, an idiot, I am unfollow you. If you really are an idiot, if you go racist on me or something, you get blocked, right? So uh, I, I completely, I, I, over time I continue to to weed out, to uh, add new people to who I'm following so that I get smarter you know, and see more cool stuff. Okay, great. Okay, so uh, let me see. in case somebody hasn't ever, ever heard of you, yeah. you're Robert Scoble. Yeah. Your your blog is? Scobalizer. Scobalizer, and from there we can find out whatever else you're up to? Yeah, you can search for Robert on Google. I'm the number two or three Robert right now. Okay. Well, that's easier to spell than Scoble. Yeah. Okay, great. And you're Scobalizer on, uh, on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, follow this guy. He's the smartest guy. In, Fast co- my one of the smartest guys company, I know. Fastcompany.tv. So you have to go over to Fast Company Magazine or fastcompany.com. Great. That's where, I, that's where my, my day job is. So. Okay, wonderful. Thanks so much. Thanks. I'm Warren Whitlock for Twitter Handbook. I'll talk to you again soon.